right. Lesson 7.1 is on the Holocaust of the Jews of Greece. In total, se there were 79,000 Jews in Greece, including Rhodes, which only became Greece after the war. Of those 79,000, only 10,000 survived on Greek soil. The first major event which happened was the At Albanian campaign when Italy attacked Greece on October 28, 1940, and <coughs> Greece didn't surrender. They fought back. In terms of the Jews, about 12,000 Jews were in the Greek army as reservists or in, the, um, in their main military service. About 3,000 Jews were actually combat soldiers, and in the fighting, uh, over 1,000 Jews were injured, and 300 Jews were, were killed, and uh, because of the agreement between Greece and Germany and the surrender, all the soldiers were allowed to go to their homes, so, so, Jew, so Jews nor the regular public were taken prisoner of war. The Jews fought valiantly. You, you see the map of Albania and Greece. Um, we have a picture of Colonel Mordechai Frazis, who is one of the architects of pushing Italy back into Albania. He was a colonel, and he, he was a <clears throat> the head of a, uh, an infantry unit, and he died valiantly uh, charging uh, an Italian unit on his white horse, and he was struck uh, from the air and, and killed on December 5th, 1940. Today, there are monuments for Frazis, but it took a long time for him to be recognized, because as a Jew, he, he couldn't be recognized as a national war hero. So after the Albanian campaign, um, where there was fighting against the Italians on the Western Front, and against the Germans on the Eastern Front, with in the areas of what's called uh, Macedonia and Thrace. So the Germans gave Bulgaria a certain occupation zone, which you'll see in the map in green, and Bulgaria didn't shoot one bullet, and, and they, they were given uh, this occupation zone. So Bulgaria didn't fight with Germany or against any of the other powers to... Uh, to get this uh, asset. So in the map of the occupation zones, the red is the German occupation zone. So you see in Macedonia in the middle and the north in the middle, and in the far corner, we once talked about that, that's, that was Thrace. That, um, that those, those Jews were deported to Salonika from communities like Didamotico, okay? And the blue is the Italian zone, which, on September 8th, 1943, fell to the Germans when the, when the uh, Italians surrendered to the Allies in general. You notice that in the, in the south, in Crete, that's part of the red zone, that's part of the German zone. So Crete fell to, the, to Germany in the fighting, and there, at that point there weren't very many Jews in Crete, there were only 200 and some Jews, but, but that's part of the German zone. You notice, for example, Rhodes, which was an Italian protectorate, it's in the blue. It won't become German until September 1943. When the Germans occupied most of Greece, where they occupied, in other words, the Italians were in charge militarily, but the Germans controlled the economy. So the Germans essentially ignored the Greek population. And there was vast starvation in Athens and in Thessaloniki and Salonika. But it affected the Jews more in Salonika, since the Jews of Salonika were a large population, somewhere about 56,000 Jews. So in the famine in 41-42, there was many as 60 Jews who died of starvation. So it was pretty uh, dire. And of course, Jewish children died as well as adults. And on the right is a picture of... Uh, Give, uh, food being given out, but you, you see that on the, these pictures, children actually don't look so bad, but they're, be, they're given uh, food rations. 
Okay, on uh, the Jews were registered for forced labor on July 11th, 1942, and at the same square where the Jews were involved in the Young Turk Revolution for rights and democratic and equal rights in the Ottoman Empire, the Nazis amassed all the Jews to register for forced labor, and they tortured the Jews in the heat of the day on Shabbat and made them do calisthenics. They, uh, they beat Jews. One Jew was... Uh, was, was uh, beaten to death, and then the Jews were taken to forced labor. The, uh, it, it was too tough, there was typhus, there was grueling road work, etc., etc., for various Nazi uh, industries, and um, the Jews wanted a, a, a relief. The Nazis' plan was to take all the Jews and destroy as much of their uh, culture and heritage as possible. The Nazis, anyway, wanted to destroy the big cemetery of the Jews of Salonika, which had been their cemetery since the Spanish expulsion, had about a half a million graves. And the Jews, to get out of forced labor, wanted to pay a ransom. Uh, the Nazis demanded in total 3.5 million, no, 3.5 billion drachmas, which I estimate at the time was maybe worth about 200 40 million dollars. The Jews actually raised half the money, but the Nazis said, well, we're going to order that we'll release the Jewish men from forced labor, but we'll, but they ordered the destruction of the Jewish cemetery. The, the Nazis physically didn't destroy the Jewish cemetery, they ordered Greek Orthodox to come in and uh, destroy it, whatever. So you see pictures of the destroyed cemetery. And the first deportation of Salonican Jewry was on March 15th, 1943. The main deportations uh, continued till July 1943. This, this is pictures relatively new. When the Jews of the southern part of Greece were deported, beginning in March 24th, 1944, which was the eve of Pesach, of Passover Eve, they eventually were interned in Athens, or in Piraeus, in a military camp called Chaidari. And only recently there have been groups that have gone there, gone there and commemorated it. There are also 500 Jews who were arrested there and put there. Some actually survived and weren't deported, but most of the Jews who arrived there were, of course, deported to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Jews from Thessaly that were deported in the middle of the country, or from Yanina and, Ar and, and Arta were sent by trucks to Larissa, which is not here, and they were there for a week or eight days, and then they were deported. So uh, the dynamic, the logistics was a little different depending on the regions. The Jews of Rhodes were deported on July 23rd, 1944. In other words, the men were originally were called to report to the Chemenlik former Air Force base on the 18th, the women were ordered to come on the 19th. On the 23rd, the Jews were taken by boat to Piraeus, to Chaidari, and on the way they picked up the Jews from the island of Kos, where there were a little over 100 Jews, and they also were deported. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the story of what happened in Greece with the uh, German deportations.